traditional family, which is designed by God as being made up of one man, one woman, and the children born of their union, of their love, is something sacred. And therefore, you can't tamper with the definition of marriage. That definition isn't something decided on by the Supreme Court or by any state government or even by a majority vote of the people. That, that definition is, uh, is decided already from all eternity by God. That definition is written into the human heart. It's part of the natural law. Back in January, there were close to 500,000 people in this exact spot um, protesting abortion. Can you say a word about the connection between the sin of abortion and the sin of same-sex marriage? Uh, absolutely there is. You know, even statistically it shows that, it, that if you are from a, a background that's a broken family without a mom, without a dad, there is a strong correlation to having abortion. All of this is connected. I mean, contraception, divorce, ma you know, same-sex marriage, abortion. If you don't have the right foundational understanding of what the purpose of our life is, what the purpose of marriage is, then all of those things, I think, fall apart one by one. Yeah, there's a common thread uniting uh, the sin of abortion and the, the sin of same-sex marriage, so-called. And it's that they're denying uh, the purpose and, and the true meaning of human sexuality. Uh, human sexuality was, uh, is a gift that God gave to man and woman for the sake of bringing children into the world. And so that, that's one thing that's important to remember. We're not just opposed, let's say, to, you know, to homosexuals misusing that gift. We're opposed to anyone misusing that gift. And so we're also opposed to things like fornication, um, adultery, uh, premarital sex, contraception, uh, and, and any other thing which, which, which takes that precious gift and drags it down into the mud and, and somehow degrades it. Uh, human sexuality was made for procreation, not for recreation, and that's what so many people fa fail to understand. issue right here, you know, for the homosexuals to be able to do whatever they want and to have parity with heterosexual couples, they say that, well, this is just like being a black before the, the Civil War. What do, you, what do you have to say about that, or if, if you have anything to say about that? You know, that argument has been used to advance this cause, and it, and it really saddens me and a lot of African Americans because we definitely, there is no comparison to be made there. We're not asking to redefine anything. This is going to redefine marriage. And once you open that door, do you stop at one man, one woman? Do you stop at, say, two women, two men? Or do you say, we can go party one, party two, party three, party four? And I just don't like the comparison because to me there is absolutely none. Homosexuals weren't put in chains for 400 years. There's no equality there, you know? And uh, when blacks couldn't marry whites, you know, uh, interracial marriage is still natural, you know? So they're trying to equate unnatural behavior with natural behavior. And so that's why this is not a debate about, about rights, about civil rights. It's about a definition of what marriage is. And other relationships, you know, even if they are loving and committed, which many of them are, like my relationship with my father, for instance, you know, that is a loving, committed relationship, but that is not a marriage because marriage is nothing, you know, nothing else except the union of one man and one woman. Two men in a partnership are not a marriage, and they can not create children and provide for posterity as our Constitution requires or requests, nor can two women. Our duty is to provide for liberty of this Constitution to be perpetuated to the next generation and generations beyond. If we allow the fabric of our nation to be unraveled, which this proposes to do, there will not be a republic for our children and grandchildren to enjoy. Does the Supreme Court have the right to change nature? Absolutely not. 
I mean, that's that's a contradiction in terms. They can pass a law that says, you know, a dog is a cow, but that's not going to change reality. A bishop in um, Illinois who said that, uh, you know, nothing except a man and a woman can create a marriage. Our law would be lying if it said that it could. And I think the same thing applies to the Supreme Court if they try to change the nature of reality. Do you think the sexual revolution will stop at same-sex marriage, or will they continue to push for more and more immoral behavior? They're already pushing for, you know, you got NAMBLA, right? You, you know, what are you doing in the public school system? If you care about kids, make kids, you know? You really care about kids, but you don't want to make kids. Oh, I would encourage everyone to look to the example of Our Lady and St. John and the other faithful disciples at the foot of the cross. And when Our Lord was being crucified, they, they weren't someplace else. You know, they, they weren't cowering in a corner or, or worrying about their own affairs. They, they had to be there with our blessed Lord. And whenever, uh, whenever the, the truth uh, is under attack, whenever the family is under attack, uh, whenever the, the uh, Christian society is, is under attack, we have a moral obligation to, to be there with our blessed Lord, to stand up. Um, sometimes it's to make your voice heard, so to speak, but sometimes it's just to be a silent witness. But, but you always have to be a witness in some way. And at the end of our lives, our Lord is going to ask us where we were when these uh, tremendous events were taking place. Remember that the media will uh, skew the facts. So ignore what the media say about the polls and focus on the truth. You know, above all, don't give up. Don't also fall for this rhetoric that people are going around saying that it's inevitable. It's not inevitable. You see tens of thousands of people here today standing for tra traditional marriage. It's not inevitable. The inevitable is that we will defeat this if we just stand strong and don't give up. So don't give up America on traditional marriage. The kids need it and society needs it. It provides a level of stability you're not going to find anywhere else. Look at what's happened in Europe places that have allowed this to go forth. You see a destruction of all marriages, so please stand strong. Oh.